our culture to get in a more warlike mode against us, the people. And they're internally teaching them that we are the enemy. Go ahead and taser that scum if they talk back. Go ahead and beat them up. Go ahead and torture them because they want to kill you. Uh, it's, it's meant to get them in an us against them mentality and to also have people that are angry at the government say, yay, Joe Stack, yay, you know, the guy at the Pentagon, as some people have done, so that the establishment can get the opposition to the new world order going against their minions instead of actually against the elite. And that it's also meant for just the general public to scare them away from joining a Tea Party or a birther or a truth movement or an in the Fed movement because, oh, my gosh, they're connected to violence. So we know the PSYOP. We know why they're doing it. And uh, but, yes, the fact that you never see, see real globalist targets being hit is another indicator. It's always their low level minions. And uh, so that's the bottom line. No, I have a small solution I believe would work. It's proactive. It's peaceful. All right, well, go ahead and get to it. Okay. What I believe, in you, and every solution has risk, and it's all going to come down to the few in the, in the end anyway. The few, are, are we, that's all we've got is the few. We can wake a few people up, but most people are not going to get I understand. Involved. What's your solution? i got to move quick here. Well, the solution is they want to take down the banks. People don't understand that it's not going to be a, a sudden crash. It's going to be a frog boiling in, in, in water, just like Solante said. Now, you and Solante said, you know, that people need to get involved. Here's how to get involved. And you can't do it in their face. You have to do it by telling people that it's against the law to tell anyone to take the banks down. You can't cause a run on the banks. Now, see, if you take your money out of the bank, you get to keep your money, and you can defeat the world, world order. All right, I'm going right. to I'm gonna have to put you on hold and, 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 and come back to you. What's the caller's name? I'm going to go back to you in a minute, Mark, but this is the, I need to hear it cut and dry. Okay? Um, I'm not sure what your solution is yet, but if you're saying identifying that taking the or saying the banks are going down is illegal, the big central banks in October of 2008 said we were going to have a depression to destroy their competition and to terrorize Congress into going against the Bill of Rights Constitution and the will of the people. That was and is financial terrorism. That's what Fall of the Republic covers. And they brought down Iceland. Iceland said, no, we're not paying you the money it's not owed. Greece is totally controlled by Goldman Sachs, so they're going along with it. Total raping. Now go ahead, uh, Mark, finish up. Okay, they're raping us. What I'm saying is, I mean, we can't reelect any, we can't get honest people in because we're not communicating. Well, what is it? Okay, so that's the solution, we can't get honest people in? What are you saying? I'm saying that he who takes the bank out first keeps the money. They're trying to take the banks out. They're taking our money. If we were to do it, we the people, this would communicate to our lawmakers that we're on top of this, we know. So what we do is we get together with George Norrie and a few of the others that are willing to take the risk. They can't go for everybody. And we just tell people over and over again that it's against the law to withdraw all your money the week of June 19th. And if everybody gets the message that it's against the law to tell everybody to take their money out of the bank on June 19th, the week of June 19th, guess what people who are listening are going to do? And, I mean, if you understand what I'm saying. They're going to go pull their money out. I appreciate your idea, but I don't agree with it. I'm not saying your idea is cockamamie, but there aren't silver bullets in this. The general public has a fraction of the money. The banks have created thousands of times fiat currency and credit what the entire planet owns and has. That's why they need to destroy the economy to make you go bankrupt so they get your property and land. It's all, it's a Ponzi scheme. But when they pop the Ponzi scheme, they get all the real material like Greece's islands and their infrastructure or Argentina's mines and their roads and their lakes and their fields and their national parks and all of our ports. We're already deep into receivership. I do think getting your money out of the big uh, 
Federal Reserve banks is good. The Goldman Sachs, the J.P. Morgan Chases, the uh, Bank of Americas. It is good to support local banks, credit unions, things like that. But see, when we talk about crash, they're not going to probably crash things overnight and not let you have your money. They're just going to devalue the value of your money. See, the, the, the human mind works from a psychological perspective in a primitive way. Like, how do I kill a saber-toothed tiger? Well, I get up here on a cliff and I throw boulders at it. Like, you know, the, you do one thing and it brings them down. And that's why the movies, it's all Schwarzenegger or, or Sylvester Stallone or whoever the hero is. Um, going out and beating everything overnight with one big sw devastating swoop. And that isn't how it works. Okay, Um you identify that the banks engaged in financial terrorism to take over, that they bait and switched and kept the money and won't say where it went, that they're openly setting up a bank of the world and taking over the planet right now. See, I had incredible news to get to here, and I, and I wanted to quickly go to calls, but that's why some days I don't take calls. Not that your calls were bad. It just burns up time and sometimes takes us in interesting directions, sometimes not. I have news here in front of me. The center is to be detained as enemy belligerents. This is also in Atlantic Magazine. And again, we're going to give you a document cam shot here. For PrisonPlanet.tv viewers. A detention bill you ought to read more carefully is in the Atlantic. Here's the PrisonPlanet.com article. The centers to be detained as enemy belligerents. And this says in Section 5, you can be secretly arrested, interrogated, tortured under the Enemy Belligerent Interrogation Detention Act, Prosecution Act of 2010, for any such matters as the president considers appropriate for U.S. citizens. So we'll talk some about this with Kaiser, but I'm going to have to push off now to the last hour for the big news blitz, where I'm going to break down the big picture here of what they're going to carry out and what they're going to do. I'll come back and we'll talk to Dustin, Monica, Zach, and Melissa. Please have your questions and comments ready quickly because I need to be able to move on. But I still want to hear from you. It's just it's a catch-22. Hi, this is Alex Jones. Did you know that the global elite are now storing non-hybrid seeds in secret storage vaults near the Arctic Circle? Did you know that in a real meltdown, non-hybrid seeds can become more valuable than silver or gold? It's true. Seeds have outperformed even gold and silver before in this country. And it's possible that it could even happen again. So our friends at Solutions from Science have put together the perfect mix of non-hybrid seeds. They call it a survival seed bank, and it can produce an endless supply of nutrient-dense food for you and your family. And here's the best part. These seeds have not been genetically modified in any way, and you actually get enough seeds to plant a full acre crisis garden. So visit them today at survivalseedbank.com. That's survivalseedbank.com. Or give them a call at 877-327-0365. That's 877-327-0365. Remember, in a real crisis, non-hybrid seeds are the ultimate barter item. This is Alex Jones for SurvivalSeedBank.com. Great news for pure water lovers. The Big Berkey water filter is available once again. And stay tuned to hear about a valuable offer from Berkey Water Filters. Choosing the right water purification system can be a daunting task. That's why BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com shows you a cost and benefit comparison. The Berkey water filter is economical with a single set of filters that can last for 5 to 10 years. Berkey water filters are healthy and far superior to other filtration systems. They remove harmful pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy chemicals like chlorine. And Berkey water filter systems are powerful enough to purify both treated and untreated water, like stagnant ponds. Get the gold standard in water filters at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. For a limited time, choose a free shower filter, fluoride filters, or two Sport Berkey bottles with every system purchase. And GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Details at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com or call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 1-877-99-BERKEY. 
Is it safe to breathe anymore? Crowded public places, global pandemics, and news reports of potential new strains of bacteria and viruses make you wonder, what if there was a germ-killing nasal spray that acted almost like hand sanitizer for your nose? There is. It's called Sinofresh Homeopathic Nasal Spray, and it's a proven germ killer. Sinofresh is a revolutionary doctor-recommended nasal spray that kills a broad spectrum of viruses, bacteria, molds, and fungi on contact in your nose. Sinofresh causes no drug interactions, no loss of smell, no rebound congestion, contains no alcohol, is non-habit forming, and is safe for daily use. Sinofresh must be a part of your family's survival plan. Go to GCNlive.com now and click on the Sinofresh banner. The first 1,000 customers to click on the Sinofresh banner and purchase Sinofresh antiseptic nasal spray are instantly registered to win a free 24-bottle case. Go to GCNlive.com.